The name's Agzaka Jugrathi, but most people just call me Ags. My favorite thing in the world is probably comics, because all of the heroes are usually pretty strong and they can face almost anything. You know, sometimes they get defeated, but they always come back in the end and they save, you know, their friends or their family or uh, innocent people they don't even know. Um, my favorite comic book hero has probably got to be the amazing Dragon Knight. He's like this human guy and in like a futuristic place where they've got guns and spaceships and stuff. He's able to defeat like robots with just his sword and his shield and his special armor and his powers. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm a part of the Mystery Club. I was, I didn't really have a lot of friends. Um, and then the guys in the club, they approached me and uh, I was able to help them with one of the, one of the mysteries. And, um, yeah, so that from then, you know, I hang out with them. Like, you know, they're my best friends. And I'll try and be there for them if I have to, if I can be, you, you know? Yeah, and sometimes the guys, they get angry because my, my brother is pretty mean and he hurts me and stuff and says I'm weak and I'm a runt and, um, I don't deserve to be, uh, um... I don't deserve to be a ha half arc. Um, yeah. And my dad, he's always busy. He's always working down at the, the lumber mill and stuff. He gets home very late. And, you know, I sometimes I cook food for him because he's you know, he comes home from the pub and he's um, you know he's a little drunk and stuff. Um, but I'm really looking forward to going out to um, Tree Ridge High. I'm finally going to be in my in high school. Yeah, it's it's exciting. Like, I hope we can keep up the mystery club. Hopefully, things don't get in the way, like homework or whatever. People say there's a lot of homework in high school. I don't want that to get in the way of me and my my friends hanging out and solving mysteries. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm really recording this on this tape but um, I thought it'd be cool to look back on and stuff maybe like when I finish in senior year I can look back and see maybe how um, how I was feeling at this time yeah, I'm really excited to go to high school uh, but my brother is gonna be there so I'm also um, a little scared um, because you know he's mean and all Okay, I'm gonna shut this thing off, okay? Uh, alright, bye. Hi, this is... I mean, it's me, Balgrix, Longtooth... I mean, of course, I'm gonna know that. I'm recording this and this is for me to listen to, but I mean, anyway, so this is a recording that I'm doing for me to listen to when I finish school, um, to see how far I've come, I guess. Um, I'm doing this really cause I mean, my friends at school want me to, um, I I don't know if I see much of a point, but, you know, everyone's doing it, and they give me a bit of a hard time if I don't, I guess. But, I don't know, maybe this will be fun. We'll see. Um, so, I go to Tree Reach High. I just moved here a few months ago with my family. Um, I assume I'll still be a Copper Dragonborn when I'm finishing school. But I really hope that I am not in puberty or adolescence anymore because it's really annoying that my venom sack or my, my poison sack is starting to mature because I mean I don't have full control of it yet and half the time I just start drooling in school and that's really awkward. I mean I'm just there sitting in class and then the teacher tells me or I hear other students giggling 
And I look down and then there's poison. There's just poison on my books. I mean, that's not cool. No one wants to be, well, some people want to be friends with me, but it's not because I drew poison. Um, but anyway, my parents say that's what all Copper Dragonborn go through. And uh, eventually I'll just, I'll just, I'll just grow out of it, I guess. Um, yeah. But anyway, in a few years when I'm, when I'm listening to this, I really hope that I st am still playing the violin. Um, you know, that really, it's really important to me. My grandfather gave me that violin. So I really hope that in a few years time, I'm still playing and I'm really good. And I mean, right now, that's all I want to do. I want to be a violinist. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to do. But yeah, I also hope that my mum and dad are able to start the cafe that they want. I know it's been very hard on them to have been, to have had to move here um, and start again. I know it's been really hard on my sister. I mean, she's, she's skipping school and she's kind of hanging with a really bad crowd. But I mean, I hope that she grows out of it. Um, I mean, I hope, yeah, I hope, I hope that gets better. But I'm looking forward to Tree Ridge High and finishing school there. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to to growing up. Looking forward to maybe growing a bit. I'm still waiting for that growth spurt, but we'll see. I mean, I hope I grow as big as the other Dragonborn at school. Maybe then I can join the football team. But if not, that's okay. I mean, I've still got my, I've still got my violin, and I got my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll hear from me in five or six years, I guess, or maybe longer. I really need to do my math homework. All right, so um, as from this recording, um, Adel is new to the Mystery Club, and I thought it'd be really cool if we can look back on everything when we finish school. Um, so yeah, I guess like introduce yourself and like um, and and say something to your future you. All right, yeah. So um, hey, I'm I'm, I'm Ada or uh, Adelburn. That's what my my parents call me. Um, I'm from Rada. Radaliadia, and yeah, so I'm, I'm new to Tree Ridge, new to town. Uh, but the guys that, at the Mystery Club, they, they've really made me feel special. Like, you, you've made me, yeah, no, I feel special and, and welcome. It's, it's a nice town because you, you guys are here. Oh, it's, it's really cool to have the guys with, who've got the same hobbies because, like, I like comics and you like comics, and it's just, it's really cool. Because, um, yeah, back, at, back in my old town, I was the smartest bugbear in class, and I just never really had any friends who had the same hobbies. All the other bugbears, they like sports and things, and I just, I just, I didn't really enjoy that. But, um, yeah, no, comics, I love comics. I love the, the detail that they put into their worlds. It's really, it's really cool. I just, uh, I got to sleep dreaming about the worlds that they do and how they're their powers work and um dad's a pally so we don't really have a lot of magic in house but um i just i dream about it it's good eh? um yeah so um mum and dad with my family we're we're a big family there's like eight of us uh, and they they all the other brothers and sisters they they mostly like sports but nah and so yep dad dad's a paladin um he works really hard and it's because of his job that we we came here to tree reach um and yeah we we don't really have a lot of magic um back in Redal Redaliadia, they, uh, they really don't have much at all. So I've, I've never seen any until coming here and, and meeting the guys and um, I snuck out a few times after night dark and I, I saw I saw some cool stuff so that was nice. Um, yeah so I, I reckon I reckon this town will be good. The, the mystery club I'm, I'm looking forward to spending time with the guys and I reckon the new year will be real fun because they they're, they're good guys and yeah school will be school will be really fun. I reckon I reckon if I study hard, then I can be a paladin too, like my dad. But he's he's cool if I don't do that. Um, yeah. So um, these guys are the best, and uh, I'm real keen for the next year and all the, the cool stuff that um, I reckon it'll have. All right, uh, Ada, Ada signing off. Bye. Uh, okay, yeah, let me, hold on, let me press the button.
Come on, man. Come on. Record. No, this is lame, dude. No, come on, man. It's going to be really cool. Brandon, like, you know, when we finish high school, we can, like, look back on this and see what we were like as, like, kids, you know? Yeah. You're going to look back and you're going to think that you were just totally lame, dude. Man, look. Sometimes... The coolest of people, the strongest of people, they start off weird and like, um, nerdy, but then they become really strong and stuff. Like, um, the, the ultimate werewolf. He's a nerd, but then at nighttime he turns into this big werewolf creature and he fights crime. That's cool. Dude, I'm obviously going to be talking to an extremely successful Brandon, and I'm going to be like, hey dude. You're obviously awesome and beautiful. Like, not, like, women beautiful, but, like... That's kind of weird, man. Like, like you're awesome aesthetically. Anyway, and like, stop talking about your future self and talk about your now self. Uh, okay. Well, I'm, like, just... I'm just annoyed. I'm annoyed at my mum and dad at the moment because they're all like, you know, go out and like be your best evil self and like burn things and kill people. And I'm like, mum and dad, can you just stop, please? This is not cool. I want to be good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are your parents not like that, Ags? Well, my dad's always working. My mum's not around anymore. Um... But my brother's real mean. Your parents will probably like my brother. He f he punches me a lot of the time. Uh, they're not like that. They don't punch me. They it's gross, man. They they love me. Super weird, right? I don't know. But it's it's not really weird, man. That they're your parents. Yeah, but they're like, oh, we love you. You know, like go out, live your dreams, and then they're just like. And also worship darkness. It's yeah. like, who says that? That is kind of weird. I know, right? Yeah. It's like, I want to be like Captain Awesome. He fights crime and he has like justice and peace and stuff like that. And I want to be like, yeah, like that's my thing. Like, hey, future Brandon, be more like that guy. I thought you said you didn't like Captain Awesome and you said it was a stupid comic book. Yeah, well, you know, it, it is. Like, it's lame and whatever, but, you know, if you read between the lines, it's pretty alright, I guess, maybe. <coughs> Kill them all. <laughs> okay, man. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else you want to tell your, your future self? Like... Well, I mean... I guess I'd more like want tips from my future self. Like, what am I supposed to do with, like, girls and stuff, you know? Like, it's real hard right now. And I, I don't mean that in the literal sense. I mean, like, it's just not easy. Like, they're so weird and I want to talk to them, but I, I don't know how. And I want to be like, hey, future Brandon, be like, you're cool and successful and... You have many girlfriends. What's the deal, man? How does it all work? Well, I bet if you told them that you can actually use magic. But don't do it, because like the paladins will come down on us like a like a big pile of bricks or something. Um, but yeah, but, but if you told them that they'd be like... Shh, shh, don't record this, man. Oh, oh don't, yeah. Don't oh, us. crap. Oh, crap. Now we're going to have to start again. Ah, oh, not again. This is the third time. Oh, I keep bringing it up. Uh, yeah, that's my problem. I'm like, <laughs> come on, I need to talk to girls and stuff. All I right, just can't do it. It makes me sad. Let's let's uh let's let's start again. Hey, future Brandon, you're awesome. Ags is lame. Okay, Maybe okay, like... okay. Stop, 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 stop.
I'm Crux, the Interdimensional Demon Bard, and I'll be telling more of the Tree Witch stories next time. Thank you all for downloading this new episode, this new mini-series, Tree Reach High Mystery Club. Thanks for having a listen to this new exciting adventure. Website www.beyondthedice.com is our website. First time. Our Instagram is pretty fun. We take D&D, RPG and nerdy pictures. Check them out there at Beyond the dice on Instagram. You can tell it's his first time. Levi, come on. You meant to say. Oh. Don't you listen to No. Oh, you got all this. We, every time we say nerdy pics. <laughs> That's why I put you and see what you did. Oh, you did it failed, properly. Failed the test. Huh. <laughs> so enthusiastic. If you do it poorly so, the first time. We also have I don't a care Facebook. about you, Ben. <laughs> Sad, man. Why are you so I care about you, Ben. Ben. Ben, I care. I know you do, Luke. So he's got to get these out of his emo yeah, you stage. You care too damn much. Travis got to get out of his emo stage and re- into his normal emo stage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, we also have a Facebook page where you can check out our Facebook page <laughs> for all the news at facebook.com. <laughs> You can you can tell that he's been off Facebook for ages. He's just like we have a Facebook page at Facebook. <laughs> Facebook dot com forward slash B T D P O D. Hey, psst, come here, come over here. Yeah, no, nope. come here. Do you have some time? Oh. If you do, give us a review. Uh, now, if you, if you jump onto whatever medium you use to download this podcast or any other podcast uh, and just give us a review, um, chuck, chuck some comments in there, what you do like, what you don't like. Um, it'll really help us grow our listener base and reach more people. Um, seeing that those numbers go up oh, yeah. just makes us more enthusiastic about doing this. So the more enthusiastic we are, the more... <laughs> The, the, the more an energy angle. Travis may or may not have to do the outro. And also save him from the back of a van where a man There's is no van. Spear. No van. There's no van. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> candy Am man. We, we lit. Our campsite's the candy van. We, that's where we have our mystery shack. Right. Mystery shack. Yes, it's the mystery shack now. I love it. Yeah. All right. There's definitely somebody with a spear <laughs> threatening eggs. The mystery van. It's not nice. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> please give us a review. Please give us a review and please say, yeah. please save Ags now. <laughs> Stranger danger. Hashtag save Ags 2019. Thanks. See you all next time. <laughs> bye. Thank you, bye. Goodbye. Maybe we'll you see. should roll a, uh, <laughs> an arcana check. <laughs> no, I don't say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so... You're breaking the fourth wall. That is a good point. What time of year is it? What season? Yeah. It's like, what colours am I wearing? Is it before or after Labor it Day? It is spring. Well, how, this is like America, so we don't have to like wear, like, do we, have to, we don't have to wear a school uniform, so how far do we have to not wear a school uniform? I have to wear clothes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's the limit. <laughs> Setting low standards. <laughs> you suddenly notice someone's missing. Huh? And it's Ags. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're not there. He's like, wait, I'm not? Huh?